Konnichiwa! Welcome to the 39th lesson of the basic Japanese series for beginners. In this video, you will learn different ways of saying to take off or to remove. Say for example, clothes, shoes, accessories, makeup, etc. in Japanese. There is also a small quiz to check your listening comprehension. So please watch it till the end. In Japanese, there are two main expressions for taking off or removing, depending on the item that you will take off or remove from your body. Let me go through them one by one. I will begin with the word toru. This is the dictionary form of the verb torimas, and in the context of taking off or removing things, it is used when taking off or removing accessories from the head or the body. For example, boshi, which is hat. Nektai, which is tai. Toke, which is watch. Megane, which is glasses. Kesho, which is makeup. And so on. To say, I remove my makeup before sleeping every night. In Japanese, it will be Mai ban neru mae ni kesho wo torimasu. Here, mai ban means every night. Neru is the dictionary form of the verb nemas, which means to sleep. Mae ni means before. So, neru mae ni will mean before sleeping or before going to bed. Let me give you one more example. The te form of the verb torimas is totte. And if someone tells you, Megane o totte kudasai, then it means please take off your glasses. Actually, for accessories like megane, the word hazusu, which is the dictionary form of the verb hazushimas, is also used. And in your conversation, you can use either of them, and both are correct. However, for beginners, I recommend you to first practice and become familiar with the verb torimas. Now, let me go to the next word, which is nugu. This is the dictionary form of the verb nugimas and it is used when taking off or removing an item of clothing that covers the arms or legs. For example, shatsu, which is shirt, jaketto, which is jacket, koto, which is coat, kutsu, which is shoes, kutsushita, which is socks, and so on. To say, I will remove my jacket as soon as I return home. In Japanese, it will be Uchi ni kaettara sugu jacket wo nugimasu. Here, Uchi means house. Sugu means immediately. And kaetta is the plain past form of the verb kaerimas, which means to return or go back. Let me give you one more example. The te form of the verb nugimas is nuide. And if someone tells you, Koto nuide kudasai, then it means, please take off your coat. Now, I have a small quiz related to listening comprehension. Please listen to the audio clip that I will play now. And from the options that are shown here, please try to identify what the visitor is supposed to do. Are you ready? Let us start. Sumimasen. いいですよ。でも、入る前に靴を脱いで、そこにあるスリッパーを履いてください。はい、わかりました。靴下は脱がなくてもいいです。はい、わかりました。Let me play the audio clip one more time. すみません。部屋に入ってもいいですかいいですよ。でも、入る前に。靴を脱いで、そこにあるスリッパーを履いてください。はい、わかりました。靴下は脱がなくてもいいです。はい、わかりました。Can you identify what the visitor is supposed to do? The correct answer is option D. Because the dentist has given instructions to remove shoes and wear slippers before entering the room. Here, you must note that kutsushita is socks. Nuganai is the nai form of the verb nugimas. And the sentence pattern ending with vi na kutte mo i desu 
indicates that the action described by the verb need not be done. So, nugana kutte mo e this will mean need not remove. I hope it is clear. So, that is it for now. I hope this video was useful. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. And if you found the video good, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.